Yes, Jerome. What oh, is you're, it? you're there. You are there. Of course I'm here. I, I went up the stairs and I was knocking on the door, knocking on the door. And yeah, I know. I was here. I wasn't letting you in. So was the go away, go away. Was that from you? Yes, of course it was for me. Oh, I didn't I think... simply didn't okay. want to answer. Right. Because I didn't want to see you. I'm reading over my divorce papers. Oh, so okay. that's okay. what I'm doing. Ah, gotcha. Well, yes. I've, I've got some great news. I think that might... <laughs> it's going to brighten your day. When oh, you... really? Yeah. Oh. As it turns out, Gina's baby is mine. I'm the biological father of Angus. How does that brighten my day, I'd like to know? Yeah. Exactly how, when I told you to just drop it and leave it alone, and instead you did the exact, okay, well, yes, all right, fine, Dr. Wallace, I'll do that, which to you means I'm gonna pursue it further. I know, I know you knew how much I wanted to be a dad, and so I, I, I sent away for a DNA test, and we found out that it's a full match. And by full, I mean, you know, not partial. Yes, because partial is an impossibility. Exactly. Oh my God. I'm, I'm finally a dad. That's not good news for me though, because well, now you have a child that you have to raise yes, and support somehow. That's right, but not somehow. I mean, I have to tell you, uh, uh, you can forget about that raise that I asked for. I am fine with the 425 a week that you pay me because Austin decided to clean house and give away all of his money. The last check he wrote was to little Angus for $20 million. He, Austin gave you $20 million? We're rich. He gave Angus, but we as those who are gonna raise him are, are going to be able to experience what that is like for him to be raised in the manner to which he's become accustomed. What's that, amniotic fluid and mocktails, well, I suppose? 